Hello guys, and we're doing a Reddit video today, because yeah. we're very original. Nobody um, else has ever done this before. Ever. Today uh, we're going to be looking at r slash ask reddit, and we're going to be sorted by top of this month, because uh, I want to look at this subreddit again, because I quite enjoy looking at this subreddit, and I'm hoping Cameron is too, depending on whether this video goes well or not. So if you enjoy this video, then like and subscribe, and do everything else that the YouTubers tell you to do. Like and subscribe, or I will steal your liver. You know, since you've been gone, there have been no threats on the audience of our videos. And ever since you've come back, you've just threatened them relentlessly. It's the best way to get them in line. Yeah, don't ask them politely. Anyway, do you want to read out this first question we've got? It's more than likely that COVID-19 will still be around at Christmas time. How are we going to explain to kids that Santa is still allowed to go into millions of houses? And the top answer is just... That's the best and worst pun in the world. Santy bodies. I, I, I don't really have any comments. You on slash I like pancakes 87, you are very good and well done. Congratulations, <laughs> I like pancakes 87. I also like pancakes, that's something we have in common. Uh, I like pancakes uh, 88 uh, rather than 87. Get out. I, I know, I like the new outside. version of pancake. Listen, uh, I, I pancake. Pancakes 87 are out of date. You need pancakes XD, XP. <laughs> XP. Right, that's the next, pancakes the, XP. The next one. We will see ads with Santa wearing a face mask. Yeah, mm -hmm. but will he be wearing it the right way? I mean, he's got such a big beard that a little face mask on the front just won't do anything. It's like you with your little bucket hat. That's not going to do anything with all the amount of hair that you've got. Ah, uh, yeah, it's practically, it's practically, obviously it's practically bursting off my head. That's why you got this thing. In case it bursts off your head, at least that stopped it. Mostly the reason I'm wearing it is because my hair is so bad at the moment. I haven't had a haircut since January because of this bloody coat. I was supposed to get one in April, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, I haven't been able to get one since because nothing's open and my mum is shielding, which is fun times. Great. So I literally cannot go anywhere. This is the first place I've been in like ages. Um, I'll just re read this one. Maeve Dustain says, I've had my beard for years and I had to shave it. Wearing a mask with no beard is a completely different and more comfortable experience than wearing it with a beard. Or at least that's what I tell myself as I cry myself to sleep every night for not feeling the gentle caress of my beard hairs against the pillow. I miss my beard. Oh, he's got beard withdrawal symptoms. I've made extra long ones for my husband to cover his whole beard. If you start growing it out again, I'll send you cotton masks if you want. That's really nice. Oh, that's quite sweet. That is really nice. Just, just measure from where the mask will rest on your nose to the tip of your beard. But what? But Santa's got like a massive... Beard. He's, just he's, gonna, got, he's got a massive beard. He's just gonna, have a, he's just gonna have like a bin bag. That? <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean <laughs> <laughs> Massive Santa beard, that. yeah. Santa is magic. That being said, the poor elves took a huge hit from the pandemic, so there are less toys to go around this year. Strictly just... one per child or two between three. <laughs> They'll just go in and just sanitise everything for Santa to walk through like some, some kind of... The replies king. to this one is great. Okay, but to be fair, they probably could have shut down any spread faster and have everyone back to work sooner if they hadn't forced some of them to come back in as essential. The rush to get back to normal is what is making it impossible to get back to normal. And they're talking about Santa's elves there. <laughs> Maybe if Santa has ac had acted sooner to provide cookie and milk rations to all the elves, they wouldn't have been so eager to, sound to get back to the toy assembly line. That sounds like communism to me. <laughs> communism detected. Get that communism detected on British soil. Lethal force engaged. Right, let's, let's move on to the next post. It says here uh, by you slash Yan Tian Tef. 300 to 400 years ago, pirates were a terrifying force to be reckoned with. Now they're family-friendly figures of fun. What will their modern-day equivalent a few centuries from now be? Now... ISIS. <laughs> 300 to 400 years, they'll all be like... They'll be telling tales about ISIS, like... And so, Osama trekked through the mountains. He's seeking to hide from the tyrannical US yeah, and, Army. And, and the, the lead act is going to be played by Johnny Depp. Like with the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> it's just going to cryogenically freeze Johnny Depp so he can play Osama Bin Laden in 400 years. <laughs> anyway, on to the replies. It says, it's already true of Prohibition-era gangsters. Mm. Ah. And if anyone asks you, tell them it was Golden Joe and the Suggins gang. What else have we got here? Pablo Escobar? Mm. Apparently. 
they, they're already doing that. They've made like a Netflix series about it. Oh, probably. They're making a Netflix series about anything. Right, I'm going to read this one out, and I have no idea how to take it because I'm not American, but I'm hoping our American viewers can get it. Next on ABC Sports, it's the Tennessee Terrorists versus the <coughs> Indiana po Indianapolis Insurgents. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yeah. Indiana Jones. I'm going to say it in American presentables. Go on, then. Next on ABC Sports, it's the Tennessee Terrorists versus the Indianapolis Insurgents. Fair enough. The this... winner will go through to the final where they will play the New York Jets. <laughs> See, I don't really get that because we're British and we play proper sports mm, in Britain. Proper sports, yes. Like actual football. Like actual and rugby, proper football with a round Which is American court. football with but worse. better rules oh, work better, and yeah. no padding. So it's basically American football for not panties. Someone here, say, here says, still pirates with a splash of early 20th century American gangsters. And someone else said the mafia. Is, is the mafia still a thing? I mean, they probably are. They just don't want to be known. Oh yeah, they exist. They still exist, very definitely. But like, they're, they're not like proper 1920s gangsters anymore. No, with their like little Tommy guns and running around Italy or America or Russia or whatever. Wow. <laughs> Terrifying space pirates. Ooh, who lives in the hood and hustles to G's? I don't oh know. God. Is that is that a reference what? to something? 2003 was Pirates of the Caribbean the Curse of the Black Pearl. 2203 would be Terrorists of the USA, the Hang Curse on. of JetBlue Airlines. Let me just read this one real quick. An older guy who used to live in my neighborhood grew up around this kid who all the other kids used to believe was half goat and half human. All the neighbourhood kids who knew him in the 60s and 70s used to call him Bobby Barbar, -Bar because his name was Bobby and he would only ever say Barbar -Bar like a goat does. Uh -huh. He had two short and deformed arms like an alligator or T-Rex arms, and so the other kids living in the city neighbourhood truly believed he was an animal and human hybrid. The kid couldn't speak and would only ever say Barbar, -Bar, so the kids sadly saw him as a freak and they would pick fights with him. Apparently he had really strong legs because he couldn't really use his arms because they were deformed. Some of the kids would try to steal his bike, and if you went anywhere near it, he'd kick you like a mule. He used to ride a girl's bike with the handlebars turned upside down to accommodate his short, deformed alligator arms. He was actually able to fight off most of the kids who messed with him. Good for him. The kids somehow became involved in the Mafia's number racket, which oh, was an illegal what? lottery and a form of gambling that was hugely popular back then in Italian and other working-class city neighbourhoods. Sorry, it just went from zero to a hundred yeah. really quick. Firstly defending off bullies, then getting involved in a mafia ring. The mob kids, you, the mob guys used to have this goat kid ride his bike through the neighbourhood and take down numbers for people who wanted to play the games. Eventually the kid got picked up by the cops and he was supposed to be in serious trouble because the cops who picked him up knew that he worked for the mob. When the kid went to court, the prosecutor relied on the word of the cops who picked him up and who thought that he was some kind of criminal mastermind behind the numbers racket. The cops thought they were going to be treated as a pair of geniuses who would get promotions and high fives from their fellow officers. So the goat kid is in court, and the courtroom is my former neighbour. And in the courtroom is my former neighbour when he was a kid, along with his friends. And also in the court are some of the mod mob guys, the type you would see in Goodfellas. Everyone wanted to see what would happen to Bobby Barbar. -Bar. The prosecutor starts telling the court and jury and judge that this kid is the guy behind the illegal numbers racket and that he is a major criminal and mob associate. The judge then goes on to ask the kid to state his name before the court and all that comes back from Bobby is bar, 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 bar. All the kids and mob guys in the court started laughing hysterically and the prosecutor and judge looked completely helpless and had no clue what to do. The judge kept asking for his name and the prosecutor kept asking questions and Bob and Bobby Barbar -Bar kept making goat sounds because that's all he could do and the kids and the mob guys just kept laughing like idiots. Bobby got off with just a misdemeanor charge for being a numbers runner and a kind of mule for the mafia and the two cops who brought him in got reassigned to the worst part of the city as punishment for making the police department and district attorney's office look like idiots. <laughs> that right. is great. That's, that's pretty odd. I mean, not, not good that he got involved in the mafia. Yeah, no, not Anyway, I think that's it for this episode of uh, Reddit review, illegal legal Reddit review thing, person. That is a crap name. We've got to come up with a better name. Well, you're sitting there eating a donut, so I'm not taking your input. Jam that's donut. given me an idea. No, um, <laughs> you got like a light bulb behind you that just, <laughs> it just cracks like, it just oh no. It just shatters into nothing. Right, well thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for watching Illegal... No, it's, it, we're not calling it Illegal Legal Reddit Review. Well, that's what I've called it in the playlist, which is linked in the description. 
Ooh, we've got a playlist. We've got a few playlists. So if you'd like to check them out, go to the playlist yeah, section. Yeah, check of, out our playlist. If you'd like to us a like, uh, leave us a comment letting us know what you think, as long as it's positive. Uh, no negative comments in our Christian comments section. And uh, I'll see all you guys, and we'll see all you guys in the next video. See ya.